SpaceX has achieved numerous milestones in its ambitious vision of colonizing space. With the introduction of Starship's Super Heavy Lift Launch Vehicle, the organization has inched closer to making interplanetary voyages a reality. However, as SpaceX's cutting-edge endeavors captivate audiences globally, the company grapples with many pressing issues, particularly confronting regulatory hurdles and facing scrutiny and criticisms from various environmental bodies. Today, we've gathered some intriguing updates on the most recent developments surrounding these challenges. But before we dive deeper into the details, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Stay updated with us for all future insights into Starship and other exciting SpaceX missions. In April, an explosive test flight caught the attention of regulatory agencies and environmentalists alike. This test flight, which saw the rocket initiate a self-destruct sequence over the Gulf of Mexico, culminated in a series of setbacks. The immediate repercussions included significant damage to the launch mount, ignition of several wildfires, disruption of local ecosystems, and scattered debris across the surrounding area. While the sequence itself was intended as a safety measure, the fact that it malfunctioned is troubling and raised alarms about the reliability of such systems. Post this incident, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has started a review of the Starship's launch system, focusing primarily on the newly incorporated water deluge system. SpaceX has been gearing up for a subsequent test flight of the Starship. Preparations have been in full swing, with company officials providing updates to the U.S. subcommittee, even conducting a complete wet dress rehearsal in anticipation of the event. However, regulatory approvals are pending, with the Fish and Wildlife Service's ongoing review being one of the last hurdles to overcome. The tension between SpaceX and regulatory bodies isn't new, but has grown significantly more palpable with a fully stacked Starship standing ready for action, yet grounded due to licensing challenges. With the FAA concluding its probe in September, the company has been holding its collective breath as the Fish and Wildlife Service continues its review. But there's more to the story than mere procedure. SpaceX's increasing frustration with the pace of the regulatory process is evident. In a significant meeting before the U.S. Subcommittee on Space and Science scheduled for Wednesday, SpaceX aims to address these very concerns. They have put forth suggestions for the FAA to double its licensing staff and give precedence to programs of national importance. In a proactive approach to cut through potential bureaucratic delays, SpaceX has even proposed that entities applying for FAA licenses should have the option to finance independent third-party technical support, especially during high-demand periods as the FAA ramps up its hiring. The concerns of SpaceX stem from a pragmatic observation. This year alone, the company has launched over 70 rockets and has ambitions to escalate this number by about 50% come 2024. They're eyeing the sky with a plan to launch approximately 12 flights every month, adding up to a whopping 144 missions over the entire year. Well, it's not just about racking up rocket miles. They've got some exciting plans in the works. The inside scoop from a company insider chatting reveals that SpaceX is upping its mission numbers for a very important reason. They're getting ready to roll out a satellite to cell phone service. Picture this, regular smartphones connecting directly with SpaceX's satellites. They announced this service back in 2022, teaming up with T-Mobile, who promised to make it accessible to their subscribers. T-Mobile's CEO likened it to having a cell tower in the sky. The potential? Wiping out those pesky dead zones and keeping people connected, even in the middle of the ocean. Now, who wouldn't want that? SpaceX's vice president of Starlink Enterprise Sales, Jonathan Hofuller, also hinted earlier this year that they're gearing up for testing this service. But here's the twist. They need special, larger satellites for this game changer. And these satellites are set to hitch a ride on SpaceX's Starship vehicle. The catch? Starship isn't up and running yet. So they designed an intermediate-sized Starlink satellite that can go up on their Falcon 9 rockets. It's bigger than the older ones, but not quite ready for voice and data services. Don't get too eager just yet, though. The full-fledged Starlink voice and data services aren't slated to arrive until 2025. But wait, there's more. They'll introduce direct-to-cell capability with text coverage next year. 
which is a step in the right direction for revolutionizing how we stay connected. SpaceX has also recently made an interesting agreement with the European Space Agency. According to reports from the Wall Street Journal, they're set to launch four of Europe's Galileo navigation satellites into orbit using their Falcon 9 rocket. What makes this significant is that it will be the first time that SpaceX is launching European Union satellites with classified equipment on board. Initially, the ESA had intended to launch the Galileo satellites using their own Ariane 6 rocket, but this project has faced multiple delays and is unlikely to see its maiden flight until at least 2024. However, this deal is still pending final approval from the EU Commission and Member States, as noted by ESA Director of Navigation. Under the terms of the agreement, SpaceX will carry out these satellite launches from the U.S. territory. This will mark the first instance where Galileo equipment is sent into orbit from outside of European territory, aside from earlier test versions launched from Kazakhstan. The news about this deal aligns with earlier reports from this summer, indicating that Europe was considering collaborating with SpaceX to launch Galileo satellites. Given this aggressive expansion, SpaceX officials are increasingly wary that the FAA may not match the pace of their ambitions, and this concern isn't just limited to SpaceX. The burgeoning space industry sees many private companies ramping up launches, thereby increasing the strain on regulatory bodies. Musk is known for his candid views, especially when it comes to financial matters like taxation on billionaires in the space sector. Interestingly, in this context, funneling more funds to government agencies seems to be in SpaceX's favor, facilitating a smoother developmental journey for the company. Elucidating on this concern, SpaceX executive William Gerstenmeier expressed apprehensions to the Washington Post. He pointed out the possible industrial bottleneck where governmental pace might lag behind the rapid advancements and ambitions of the private sector. This urgency on SpaceX's end was palpably evident earlier this week. The company showcased its ready-to-launch Starship, impressively stacked on its launch pad in Boca Chica, Texas. Sharing this milestone on Twitter, SpaceX captioned the image, hinting at its ongoing discussions with the FAA for the essential launch license. However, in a twist of events, the rocket was destacked the very same day. However, amidst the tension, there's a glimmer of hope on the horizon. Whispers within the space community suggest a potential launch in November. And these aren't mere baseless speculations. A recent maritime notice reveals substantial preparations underway by SpaceX. This notice distinctly indicates a potential rocket launch near the scenic backdrop of Boca Chica Beach in Texas. November 1st is highlighted as the probable date for this momentous event. The FAA and the Fish and Wildlife Service have been engaging in dialogues to ensure all concerns are addressed. Addressed. In another trending news related to Musk's ventures, Musk announced that SpaceX intends to assist international aid groups in Gaza by providing them with Starlink internet terminals. This decision comes in the wake of intense Israeli airstrikes that resulted in the near-total disruption of both internet and cellular communication services within the territory. Such disruptions pose significant risks, endangering civilian lives in an area where a substantial portion of the population consists of innocent children. The lack of reliable communication can exacerbate the already perilous situation for these vulnerable groups, emphasizing the urgency of restoring connectivity. In a statement made on Twitter, Musk clarified the scope of this initiative. He stated, SpaceX will support communication links with internationally recognized aid organizations. However, Musk's proposal, though commendable, isn't without its logistical challenges. For the Starlink services to be operational, users in Palestine would need functioning Starlink dishes to establish a connection to the satellite network. Regardless, Musk's move has once again won the hearts of many, as he is perceived as always siding with the victims. This gesture is reminiscent of his actions last year in Ukraine when Russian forces invaded the country, causing destruction on essential infrastructure. In that critical time, Musk provided the Starlink network to Ukrainians, swiftly restoring their lost connection and proving his commitment to supporting communities in distress. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button.
Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.